You are the right person to get the prize. <laughs>
great love song and we lesbians love that song and especially I have to tell you the secret um, the lesbians in Belgrade and Serbia they think the Bosnian accent is very erotic and Croatian <laughs> it's, it's a Croatian, Croatian accent it's a dialect really it's the same language but Croatian dialect and Bosnian dialect for lesbians in Belgrade is very sexy you know in my time it was French language <laughs> in my time <laughs> my <husband. laughs> yeah, it was a different time now um, uh, and uh, uh, the, the, so this, and the song before which was also on we call it our language because one language which used to be called Serbokrad was divi is divided now in four. It's a political issue, the language. So it's Serbian, uh, Croatian, Bosnian, and Montenegrin. So uh, the, the song before is a very lesbian song. It's a famous song of, of Maloya. And it says, I give you my heart on the palm. Okay, and now I want to say something about how how I come to get this, you know, one nice uh, day in November, the phone rings and here is the phone call from Barbara Music and she says, I have good news for you and she says, uh, you got the award and I was really uh, surprised and uh, because, you know, um, my friend uh, Dagmar Schultz, who is a feminist lesbian and I know her from Women in Black International meetings, uh, she asked me two years ago, you know, give me your CV and I'll um, propose you for a award and then I forgot about it. <laughs> and so I had a really wonderful talk with Barbara and at the end of the talk she asked me, how do you feel? <laughs> and you know, I'm a counselor and I ask other people how they feel. <laughs> So I said, I said, oh, I feel happy, but uh, when I finished the phone call, I didn't really feel much in my body, and I was really like saying, okay, I feel happy here, but I didn't really know how I felt. So for a feminist counselor, this is a new issue to work on. <laughs> so then it took me months, I can tell you. First, I realized that we lesbians don't have a, a word file in our bodies. You know, it's like, where does it enter? Mm -hmm. You get an award and what do you do? How do you feel? You know? So, I mean, I was thinking, who do I know any lesbian who got an award in my region for her being lesbian or doing anything for lesbian? So, no. I think the first one who came to my mind was Martina Narotilova, but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so then, uh, you know, I work because I, uh, because emotions it, is the main issue I'm working on for many years. So I have decided that I will work on myself to open up to many feminists and lesbians and friends who, over the time from November to now told me how happy they are that I received this email. Mm -hmm. And so they, I was like, oh, okay, yes. So I was feeling and feeling. So I can come up tonight and say to Barbara, mm -hmm. answer the question. No. And say, oh. yes, I feel now happy for the award of my mm -hmm. <laughs> Now I want to say something about Anna Klein because uh, when I realized that this is a feminist lesbian, we have uh, in our activist uh, she, she translated all she could find about Anne Klein in the in the uh, in the internet. So I started reading about her, and then I felt that she's so fantastic feminist lesbian, and she was only uh, four years older than me, and so uh, by the time she got very close to my heart. Very close to her. And I will give one citation of her to because we had seen a great video, but there is one citation what she said and she said the following. She said, I am an ex employer. And I was thinking about it. You know, if all the women on the world could say I'm an excellent in what they do the best, it would be a different world. I was thinking
interesting how, uh, and, and the same thing said the, uh, the woman who got the prize before me, how feminist it is to invent, to think of the prize with one's own name, because that's very feminist to have a client as a one to choose to have a name of the award. And I see this award and I accept it. I see it as a spotlight, you know, it's like a light on a feminist and uh, a lesbian movement in where I work. So we are working for many years and now there is a light that validates our work. And uh, so I was thinking about this day and then I was thinking, what would be a dream or a wish of an incline? How shall I accept this door? So that's when I came to this idea that I should not come alone here but that I will come with 20, and now we are 22 families. <laughs> <laughs> from Bosnia Herzegovina and Serbia, from uh, six different towns, uh, from 10 different organizations and initiatives. And also, there we have one lesbian who comes from a town, and she says, I am the only lesbian in town that I know of and nobody in my town knows that I'm lesbian and it's better because I would be in danger otherwise. So uh, this is just one example of where we come from. And um, I want to say also one more thing, that here I'm so um, moved that here today we have a beloved partner of one decline, uh, Barbara Binek, and I have Little flower for her. <laughs> so now I'll just say a few things about It was said so many, so much things. I'm really learning to accept this. Uh, excellent speeches from Barbara and Monica. I'm really fascinated with these fantastic speeches. But um, I will uh, summarize my politics um, of, uh, uh, with the words of a young feminist queer from California, and she said the following First act of resistance, self love. Second act of resistance, accountability for your privileges. I will explain now. I will come from the second. I will start with the second. So this is what we already heard excellently described by Monica, that in 91 I happened to live in Belgrade and that the war started from the town where I live in, from practically my address my street, not really, but yeah. So that we organized as women in black, as we heard, uh, to put our bodies out on the street to say we disagree and not in our name and the, the crimes are done in our name. Uh, but one also important slogan, we had many slogans, it's a feminist and militarist group, women in black, many slogans, but one slogan comes from uh, uh, around here, from Krista Wolf, from her work Cassandra, and she said something which can be said as following, don't be deceived by your own leaders, or don't let yourself be tricked by your own husbands, your own fathers, your own chiefs, your own God. That's very important for us, this uh, uh, politics, to always uh, put in question who is our own. And uh, another thing uh, which we do as we're in like now, after the war, many activities, many activities, but one which I want to mention is what Italian feminists from Women in Black in Italy, Donny Nero, they said 
uh, visiting the places of pain. And that means uh, we, from Bel Women in Black from Belgrade, are going to uh, places in Bosnia and Herzegovina or Croatia or Kosovo where Serbian paramilitary militaries have done crimes, genocide or uh, ethnic cleansing. And we go there on their commemoration to uh, express our care, to say we are sorry for the crimes that are done in our names. And I am very much, um, how to say, and I really living with this uh, in politics. I do that in restaurants in Croatia sometimes, you know, or in Bosnia with a taxi driver. You know, it's like very important for me that I that the people know that there is somebody in in Belgrade from where uh, all this crime started who cares and who wants to know what happened to the others. And I can tell you, I can tell you uh, there was once one woman who said uh, that she was uh, sexually abused when she was very young and that she thinks that her life would have, have been different if there was a man who told her at that time that he is sorry as a man and that for the crime and pain that the other man has done to her. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, this issue um, opens a question for me now, because I live in White Town, Belgrade, but there are Roma citizens in my street and in my town, in my country, in my region, and they are constantly, constantly discriminating. And what does it mean? Now, how do I take this responsibility that this discrimination is done in my name? And uh, just to say the good news in our 22 fantasticus, that's one of the way we call ourselves. <laughs> there are two feminist lesbians and Roma with us together. <laughs> and now I want to say it is my favorite act of resistance is self-love in this organization. <laughs> you know, in the gender division of self-love, gender division, women got very little. You know, it's like as if there is somebody in patriarchy who is dividing which emotion should be more for somebody and which way. You know. <laughs> A movie. A cartoon movie. Yeah. So, very little self-love. You know, women are supposed to love others, to care for the others, we know that. And the more patriarchal, the more it is. But lesbians even less, you know. We have had numerous workshops in which we have seen that almost every lesbian, including me, have had experience of self-punishment, self-accusation, self-mutilation. We pinch the glass, we pinch the wall, because, you know, the society gives so many um, messages which are full of making, full of energy to make us feel guilty and ashamed. And then our body has to do something to fight this guilt and the shame with these acts of self-aggression. So uh, that's why I, uh, some times ago I had decided to uh, um, work uh, to develop workshops. Sometimes they have titled Unconditional Friendship with Our Lesbian Selves. And uh, we are uh, <coughs> doing different um, you know, uh, exercises how to accept ourselves. You know? how to accept our lesbian, whatever we are as lesbian, it is good. It's really nobody told us that. You know, in places like where we are, small places, no one tells us that this is all good. So we are, I am very much into these kinds of workshops because, you know, um, I think 
uh, that even if we had some laws, if unless we work on ourselves, that we emotionally can feel that we are equal citizens, so that this the states where we live are also about us. You know, lesbians sometimes you know are so. We are so putting ourselves in the back because every you know you go out on the street, everything is heterosexual in our places. You know, it's like you don't find yourself nowhere. There is no mirrors. You know, so we like to be in the back. We like to be in the dark. We we like to live in, during the night, etc., etc. And it's important that we are take our friendship and our love enough so that we can um, feel that we are uh, equal citizens because the laws will not do anything unless we are emotionally ready for these laws. And <laughs> so, um, so, for example, one of our slogans is also uh, solidarity is a seed of our courage, but solidarity, we mean solidarity with ourselves. First, that's a feminist concept of solidarity. Solidarity with ourselves and solidarity with the other at the same time. And so, um, you know, our states where we come from, 22, are um, so nationalist, you know. And you know, and there are so many states in the world who have who are led by fundamentalist parties and of different kinds. And you know, you we never for our lifetime in those places we never gonna get that, that democracy. So my message is really that is that we work on ourselves to have a happy life, to have our lesbian desire as much as possible, enjoy in our own bodies despite the garments. So despite our nationalist garments and in face of our non-caring garments, we lesbians, feminists, queer, bisexuals, trans, gay men, we are our own I first want to say Andreas Halterman, that's the first, uh, that was the first one who he gave me flowers. It's very important. One was uh, Rosa Logger, she's a feminist lady from uh, Woo! 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 She was so happy to know that we are all coming here. She said, I will give my money and please have coffee and beer in my name. <laughs> and there is also a feminist organization who has supported six lesbians to come here, and uh, that's how we can be in this. Wonderful 22, fantastic. Thank you. Ya ves, que venero tu imagen. 
Yo, yo, yo.